If you're a Dentec user like I am, you should check your elastics if you've used the mask for more than a month. I was having trouble getting it to seal consistently, and then I realized what the problem was. It was the elastic is no longer stretching as much as it used to. Uh, Dentec will tell you that it's your responsibility to inspect the respirator before each use. So this is on me. Uh, one way I know that it's not working anymore is that it just pulls right out. The other way is that it doesn't stretch as much. So when I stretch it on this measuring tape, I'll put out four inches worth, and stretch it as far as it'll go, it only goes an extra two inches. That's a stretch factor of just two. <laughs> two inches, sorry, that's a 50% stretch factor. So how does that compare to um, a mask that I haven't worn, like this one here? Well, I've pulled off a piece of elastic off that already. It's a little harder to pull off because it's fresher. This one I'm going to put out to the same measurements. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So a 100% stretch factor. That is a lot stretchier. If you are an industrial user, you're going to need to replace uh, your harness with a new one like this one. Uh, which you can get from a vendor of Dentec products. But if you are not an industrial user, you might wind up being cheap like I am and replacing it with some fabric store uh, elastic. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that it has the factors I need it to have. Um, so I've got this fabric store elastic here. And we're going to check it and check the stretch factor. So four inches. And 18, 19, 20. So um, <laughs> that went a whole extra six inches. That gives us a stretch factor of uh, <laughs> 150. Um, so we're doing pretty good there. In that case, let's talk about whether it has the same amount of tension. So this is the one from the fresh uh, black mask, which I've already put a little clip on here, and you'll see why. I've got a force gauge. Just a little middle school science experiment quality one. Uh, and we'll stick this again out at four inches and see what happens. So we'll take it out to six. And that is about 700 grams. Now let's take a look at the fabric store version. Do, do, do. So here we go. And that's about four inches. We'll grab the same one. And at six, it's only about. Um, it's 500 grams. So it is less, but this is stretchier, which means you can snug it, snug it up. So when I take it out to six and three quarters, now we're at 600 grams. So I think this was enough within specs that I can safely use it, but um, you'll have to do your own determination to see whether it is worth it for you to use it or whether or not you want to buy a new harness from Dentec. This is going to be simpler to do. Uh, it all depends on your tolerance for risk and whether or not you're an industrial user. You do not have that option as an industrial user because modifying the mask takes it out of NIOSH compliance and you need NIOSH compliance for OSHA compliance. So don't do it if you're an industrial user or if you're not confident about the ability to use uh, appropriate replacement elastics.